Good morning, good afternoon, good evening wherever you are in the world. How are you doing today? This is a reaction video. In the news today. Number 1, Dean Wango sudden departure from Thailand. The beautiful Kenyan YouTuber Dean Wango has been in Thailand for about three weeks. She was traveling with her boyfriend JB and over sudden we saw a clip showing her going to the airport. The next thing we knew, she was back in the Philippines. From the video she posted in the last days, nobody was expecting her to travel to the Philippines in the near future. Dean Wango had no intention of leaving Thailand to go to Philippines. Now, I have been thinking huh, what would be the reason Dee is going to Philippines? My first assumption is that Dean Wango is going to the Philippines to meet Aaron Dante. Aaron Dante is the rich black American guy from the US, who was collecting money to help in building Dean Wango's Filipino grandma through GoFundMe. Aaron Dante, Dean Wango and Marwa have plans to start a charity initiative to help people around the world. From what I heard, at some point in one of Aaron Dante's video, he was getting ready to travel to the Philippines early March. So that could be the first assumption as to why Dean Wango left suddenly to go to the Philippines. The second assumption could be that Laura, D Grandma, is extremely sick, so Dean Wango rushed to go to the Philippines in order to take care of Laura. However this is a little bit strange because Dean Wango's friend I am Sharono did a video from Laura's village the other day, and she did not mention that Dean Wango is about to visit Laura. In the video, I am Sharono went with her sister to surprise Laura. She curried lots of food, I was really looking forward to see how the visit went down there in the village. I am Sharono and her sister rented a room in a hotel not far from the village. The next day we saw them going with one other guy who gave them a ride to the village. The Nigerian guy is also a YouTuber so a great opportunity to showcase Laura's house. It was a semi-business trip, the same way YouTubers travel to Nyabahan's village to take videos of Mama Anne's new house. <laughs> when I am Chiron, her sister and the Nigerian guy reached the village, the people at the house first said that Laura was not home, that she went to take shower at the river. The next thing we saw the scene where I am Sharono is saying that Laura is sleeping in the house. Something seemed strange. Basically, in one hand they said that Laura is not here. She went to the river to take a shower. But then in the other hand we heard that Laura was sleeping in the house. It was a little bit strange. Laura was sleeping. She woke up, hugged Sharono, she seemed very happy to see her again. We learned that Laura was sick. What created some kind of controversy was that I am Sharano went to Laura's room. And we saw that Laura's bed had no mattress. Now I'm thinking, huh, if my memory serves me very well, I recall that Laura had a bed, a comforter and I thought that Dean Wango bought a mattress for Laura back in December. Before Dean Wango went back to Kenya for Christmas, she furnished Laura's house. So now I'm wondering, what happened? Did Laura gift the mattress and some of the materials to somebody else? What happened? Did somebody steal that? I am not sure what happened. The fact is that when they opened her son's room, kids were sleeping on the floor without a mattress as well, so they don't have a mattress. So now I'm wondering what happened. In any case, Sharana was a little bit shocked she couldn't understand what happened. I am Sharono bought food, she brought some gifts as well. I am sure Sharono had plans to cook with the family, share a meal before going back into town. It was supposed to be a great surprise for Laura. But the video ended abruptly, so it was a little bit confusing. Very, very confusing. Oh, before I forget I want to talk about the use of solo traveler in Dean Wango's video, I think that it was a click bite. <laughs> she wanted views, you know, she wanted to make us watch her video. <laughs> I don't blame her because I have seen that views went down since she went to Thailand. Therefore, people need something to spice up things, right? I kind of understand that, she is still JB. It was really just to make us watch her videos. <laughs> okay, now. 
My conclusion is that we don't know the reason why she left Thailand suddenly. We are just waiting to see what's going to happen, how everything is going to unfold and we'll go from there. So again, the beautiful Dean Wango is back in her second favorite country, Philippines. We hope to hear more news on new projects or anything you have going on in the Philippines, you beloved country, okay? Number 2 in the news is I am Sharono. I know I am Sharono also calls Laura Grandma. Let me come to you, girl. I know you are Dean Wango's friend. You hosted Dean Wango when she came to the Philippines. She became your friend and at one point she was staying at your place, which means that she is very good friend of yours. Now. I was surprised to see that you went back home to Kenya for the Christmas holidays. You stayed there for a good full month or even a little bit longer. Both of you were in Kenya at the same time as Dean Wango. How come you guys didn't arrange to meet each other since you are extremely good friends? That was a little bit strange to me. If you cannot visit each other or see each other when you are back home, where everybody is relaxed in their own home, what kind of friendship is that? Is it a friendship for convenience only? Anyways, I'm going to leave it out there for now but the friendship didn't look solid for me. <laughs> Number 3, Who Else Attracted My Attention? OMG, Stella Muniva of course. Let me talk about Stella Muniva, young beautiful Stella. First in Nairobi, you worked very hard to get Davy Jr.'s attention. You went to the extent to buy him flowers. <laughs> you succeeded in becoming friends with him, traveled 10 hours from Nairobi to visit him in Nyabahan's village. I saw a very nice, cute girl. And all of us were really, really happy to see Davy Jr. go out with a very cute girl. All that was good, I liked what I saw, you braided Davy Jr.'s mom hair. Congrats mom on YouTube, you cleaned the compound, all that was beautiful. I was like, wow, this is a good beginning. I like the girl I saw in Nyabahan's village, my opinion on you girl changed when I saw your video called, The Saddest Day of My Life. I was like, did she lose someone, what happened to beautiful Stella? All the crying was about a GoPro camera? Come on girl. What happened to the girl I say in Nyabahans? As soon as she left for the city, she started behaving in a different way. I also saw some of the titles she was using on her videos and I was thinking, did she have good, genuine intentions when she went to the village? Did she have genuine intention or what? Did she go to Nyabahans to meet I am Marwa like many YouTubers are doing nowadays or it is because she loved Davy Jr.? So, the message here is for Davy Jr. Davy Jr., if I were you, I'll be very careful with this girl. Pay special attention. I've seen her. How she tried so hard to get you. To the point where she offered you flowers. In general men buy flowers not the other way around. How Stella was being all sweet and stuff like that, was it because she likes you? Or it's because she wanted to use you. The fact that she didn't say yes, when you asked her if she wants to become your girlfriend, should give you an idea of the kind of person she is. She did not give you an answer, it looked suspicious to me. I see her as a user. She is crying crocodile tears to attract sympathy. Her crying was about a GoPro camera, shame on her. To me I see some kind of manipulation, she wants to use viewers. I don't see any other motive behind what she's doing. I think that she knows that out there on YouTube, there are some people with money who are always ready to pay for things. Davy Jr., I am a little skeptical, and I feel that this girl is somebody to watch. Yes, unless she proves to me that she is really, really interested in you. Um, I'll be very cautious around this girl. I saw some of the clips she did with Michelle Ponte some two years ago or something like that. Uh. So this tells me that, anybody who can help her to get views, she will do anything to be close to that person. I would say, Davy Jr., just be very, very careful when you are around her. I don't like to see people taking advantage of you good heart and your generosity. Michelle Ponte did it as well. 
In fact I have noticed that a lot of people take advantage of your family. I have seen girls who try to use Marwa. Some other people may have tried to use Dean Wango and now this girl is maybe doing the same to you. So, guys, I know you are very nice people but just be very careful because, yes, people show love, too much love when they need you, and once they have what they want, they leave you or spread rumors about your beautiful family. I like what you what you did for your grandpa. I like what you are doing for Uncle Mo and I like that you are a good kid and that you're always ready to help other people. Take care and be careful around those YouTubers who would do anything for the views. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.